Hi there, Leo, Leo Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your May 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, before anything else, I just want you guys to know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not really chin in to each and every Leo out there. So, just keep that in mind. And the only way for you to have a specific reading for you and your own personal situation is to have a private consultation with your own trusted reader or to book a session with me now without any further ado i just want to dive deep into the reading ahead um so yeah for leos um i do say this to every sign that may is a very important month for every one of us even to humanity and with how we handle our life personal life how we socialize with the people around us and with our personal relationships as well um, astrology wise we do have a lot of retrogrades going on so that is a big warning sign to each of us and you are no exception even though that i kind of feel that at the beginning of the month or maybe um, the past few weeks you have been having a happy vibe in you I mean in terms of relationships there is something really giving you zest for life you know something fulfills you there is joy and laughter we do have the Sun card over here being crossed over by the ace of wands so you are at the point of your life or in you wanted to be happy there is something of opportunities coming your way if you have not been feeling this way it could be that you know this is something like uh, of an energy that is um coming into your life or has come into your life recently that kind of thing we do see here that you know dating someone meeting someone could be in the picture all at the same time i kind of feel that for for single people this could be you know you might be dating someone like maybe for the internet or meeting someone really really new wherein you have no idea about this person at all um, and you're not really thinking about whether that person is to be trusted or not but the most important thing for you is that you are enjoying and being happy you want a new beginning basically and you are like basking yourself with love well with um with really feeling good about yourself and in the relationship so that is a really really wonderful energy that is coming your way um, at the top of the reading we do have the lover's card so uh, this is really telling us that some form of love is you know a big thing for you at this time and even though we do have the hangman over here it could be that you know it could be something that you haven't felt in such a long while maybe you have been single for such a long time and you finally found someone or maybe you finally found a match that you think think um it's like meant for you you know it could be you are meeting a soulmate or a past um uh you had you know meeting with someone whom you had a past life together so um there is a form of strong pull or strong attraction between you and a certain person in your life again it could be someone that you are about to meet or someone that you have recently met basically it is making you feel really really good and it, it does seems that things are going to move along very smoothly we do have the knight of cups and the ten of hearts in the near future so you know this is you know vibrating the energy of all about love all about happiness and um being emotionally fulfilled as a whole so we are seeing all of this energy creeping up so if you have been in a in a place of isolation in the past in a in a place of dullness and being bored um i kind of feel that you know this type of energy is going to change things for you a part of may gives 
an energy for opportunities and an energy to to feel love to 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 love and be love as a whole which is always a good thing we do see that you know um there is going to be changes in in how you communicate with people um you know if you have not been talking to anyone it could be that you suddenly are going to be talking with someone and all at the same time uh i just kind of feel that there is a huge focus on messages and communication that is about to change so there is going to be disruption in there and it could be both positive and negative all at the same time it does gives us a heat of warning though because i don't know if you guys can see we do have clouds over here um, along with the book uh, and then also here in my another lenormand deck we also have the energy of the clouds over here so um and the journal which is also the book so it gives me that feeling that you know um there is something very cloudy and distorted in the picture here maybe you are you know seeing one thing and ignoring the other thing and later on that might just come and bite you in the back so i'm not saying that any relationships that you that you meet or encounter right now will have some form of um, repercussion it's not really that it's just that it's telling us that right now things are very cloudy and right now maybe your head is in the clouds which is very possible because you're not really emotional this month but you are passionate and there is a thin line between um, emotions and passion at the same time because they are both being triggered by the heart and Leos are all about the heart, you know, and we, I'm pretty sure that every one of you knows that. So I, I just kind of feel that, you know, there is something that you might be missing out or not seeing. So it does give us a heed for caution um, that to not suddenly jump into life-changing decisions, to not suddenly jump into a relationship if you can. You can, however, enjoy the moment, enjoy the process, but don't jump into you know a full-blown commitment because it is telling us here that maybe there is something that you are not really understanding. Maybe you are assuming something. Maybe you are um, uh, concluding something based on your own perception not from how it is reality um and one example i can give here is that maybe you think that you are already in a relationship with someone but maybe you know you did not really ask the information if you guys are really in an in an exclusive relationship it's something that you just assume because things are working out very well between the two of you. It could be something similar to this. Um, there are different facets and scenarios how this can play out definitely. Just that the, the key word here is to not jump into conclusions because jumping into conclusions can result into um, disputes and a lot of distortions later on especially that we have the moon over here at the outcome card of the reading along with the eight of diamonds and um this is really the energy we're in you you jump into conclusion and some form of shocking scenario might um come for you if you don't really um, find out the truth and we also have here the come out in the closet card um, so this is all about you know finding out secrets secrets that you don't know might be in the picture as well so there could be a lot of good things that are happening in your life and in your love life but maybe you are not seeing the other most important thing like maybe you are meeting someone and everything seems good between the two of you but maybe they are linked with someone else or maybe they are married i mean um that is not always the case okay so just keep that in mind another way this can manifest of course is that you know you might meet someone whom uh 
you are in a perfect match with you know it's like a heaven sent kind of relationship and but in this scenario you are very doubtful whether it is true or not there is something you know you are being cautious so it's either you're being overly cautious about something or either you're not trusting the entire process and if you ask me it's better for you to be cautious rather than to completely trust the scenario especially during the season of venus retrograde and again we do have venus retrograde in sign gemini so um, suddenly going into a relationship and pulling back is very much common so and if you um, will take a look at this on the astrological aspect and things Gemini is going to be in your 12th house if you are a Leo ascendant so 12th house will trigger you know unforeseen circumstances that can really shock you surprise you or it could trigger a lot of emotional trauma as well if it's someone whom you had a past with that kind of thing because the 12th house has a lot of past things a lot of spiritual connections all at the same time so there could be karmic ties to that at the same time as well however what i can assure you here is that whether you are single or in a relationship something is going to be happening in your relationship that can be really really positive and really really good it's just that you might need to not get ahead of yourself regardless of the circumstances regardless how positive or not positive things are there could be something that you are missing out and that is what you need to um, keep your um, keep in mind with basically that kind of thing this can also be a time wherein you know you could resolve a misunderstanding something that you have been confused about something that you you felt very lost about before has a time to reassess and try to fix things so that you know um some form of problems can be resolved so there is some form of progress that can be made but it comes in in a very slow and steady pace but it is telling us that there is going to be progress definitely going to be happening for you by the end of this cycle and the funny thing here we do have the saturn in the sign of sagittarius in the 10th house so you know this can be relating to someone that is very very important to you the 10th house um usually depicts about image and all of that but when it comes to love this can be talking about a very important figure in your life someone that really inspires you that you really really value and respect all at the same time it could be with a man of authority who knows and also we do have a retrograde in in saturn so um yeah there is a lot of vibration of past energies here and it's going to be common for for me and for other readers to talk about past stuff because of the retrograde motions happening in the skies and with how the readings are being placed right here it you know naturally it it tends to show up here and there and it's not about you know retrograde is not always about going back to the past but sometimes there's just some things that you need to clear out that you need to to work with so that you can move to the future in a in a better mindset in a better situation in mind so some form of truth is going to be revealed something is going to show up there is a form of unclogging a closet or a secret that is about to be revealed to you and it is definitely going to put a serious tone into your partnerships into your love life and it is my hope that you know it happens in a very positive way how whatever it is though it is telling us that there is a green signal that will put things more forward and some form of communication is going to come through to you guys 
all at the same time. So um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys, Leo. I hope that this gives you insight and clarity and take a small peek to what might be manifesting for you for the month of May. And I hope that it gives you insight and clarity to your situation. Again, this is a reading that may tune in to some of you and tune and not tune in for other people since it is just a general reading. But I'm pretty sure that all general readings will have a form of connection in small percentage here and there. So um yeah, and again if you want a personal reading, um for you and for your own situation you can do so by contacting me on my website in the stars by and i shall see you guys again next month